the sweet move here then by the Italian. He takes that turn cautiously, looks back. He's comfortable with the advantage. Lloyd, he's still trying to get back up into the wheel of a Metti. Four kilometers to go. Four kilometers to go now as they power the way up this little rise. And Metti's going to turn left and set himself up for the finish. He continually talking into his race radio. He wants to get an update. But these guys, remember, have been on the attack since the 18 mile mark today. That's a long, long time in the lead. Well, there's a downhill run by Fenton and then it lips up all the way to the left-hander and then they line up with a, a sort of mini hairpin that brings them into Albion Street where they finish right outside the town hall so it is a very tough approach to the line but this race isn't over yet because we're now hearing that the peloton are only 36 seconds behind the leading group that means that they could even catch the group of seven riders before the finish will these two riders hold on well the cat who finished second yesterday today could be the man that could still uh, save the blushes of the team of Agritubel if the yellow jersey has not managed to get back into the bunch. Well Dan Lloyd has composed himself, he's firmly on the wheel of Hermeti, he looks round, you don't want to be doing this guys, you want to look ahead, power on and worry about getting to the finish. And don't slow down, there's a few bumps on the way in as well. Now this is the long drop before it ramps up and it goes up all the way then to the line and this is the time to get that big gear turning. Dan Lloyd pulling himself right forward in the saddle, such is the effort that these riders are putting in. Hermeti glances across at Dan Lloyd and says, come on get on my wheel we want to get to the finish let's worry about who wins when we get there all we need is time small punchy style for the Italian on the LPR squad normally playing the role of a domestique he's a fourth year pro one win he had back in 2006 but now he's got a chance to add a big prize then to his CV and Metti looking back on both sides and I'm just wondering if Lloyd wants to come through. Well, Lloyd won the Vuelta Extra Madura earlier on in the season. He's been shortlisted for the World Championships for Great Britain. And what a day to get a win if he can. Dave Brailsford is at the finish line, the performance director of British Cycling. You saw the traditional flick of the elbow there. That is the professional signal to say, come on, I've done my turn, take over. Right, this is the island then where it starts to ramp up. Now then. Is Ameti going to try and jump away then from his breakaway companion, Lloyd? Ameti again asks Lloyd to go to the front, but I don't think Dan Lloyd is... He's either not going to or he's unable to go to the front. Ameti, the punchy style, he's a supreme rider in this race. And Dan Lloyd is going to sit on his wheel and uh, wait until he can jump away. He's doing the right thing, actually, because it's Ameti that stands to gain everything here. Lloyd is 13 Ooh. minutes back Ooh. overall, so he can let Ameti carry him and then probably try and jump past for a stage victory. Well, they almost collided. I think Dan Lloyd is pretty spent here. Dan Lloyd is now being left behind by Ameti. So the on-post professional Lloyd has lost contact and now it's Ameti. He's looking to the summit of this little climb. It'll swing left then. It dips down fractionally before they line up for the run into the finish. Well, you can imagine what the heart rate of this man is like right now. He's going for the stage win and he's going for the yellow jersey. His heart rate must be on its absolute limit. Dan Lloyd, he must be extremely tired. One kilometre to go, Hugh. One kilometre to go, he's got rid of Lloyd. Now then, has he got the firepower to hold off the field that are beginning to pour down on what is left of that leading group? Here he goes, he must surely now be sensing victory. Lloyd coming up to the left-hander as well. But at the moment, it's all about Emeti, the Italian. Lloyd in a huge gear. Is Emeti going to win this race? The peloton are boring down on them, but so are the breakaway. Look at this. It looks like it's in the bag, or is it? Emeti looks round again. Massive crowd at the finish, waiting for the arrival of the riders. Amongst the crowd is Les West, one of our greatest roadmen, twice winner of the milk race, silver medal winner in the World Amateur Championships. West is there, waiting to see who is going to clinch this stage. Here comes Emeti getting ever nearer. He's going to swing through this right-hander, then he's going to set himself up for the power to the line. It, surely this stage is Ermetti's. What a fantastic performance today for the Italian. He's left Dan Lloyd, but are the breakaways still behind him? Has he got this one sealed? 
Well, news coming in to me that the breakaway is actually being uh, absorbed by the front of the bunch now. But here is a match of the Italian. There's Lloyd behind him, and you just caught a glimpse of the Norwegian, Bosenhagen. And it's Bosenhagen, the Norwegian, that's closing down on Emeti now. And Emeti, has he still got enough in the legs to clinch the victory? Look at this, Bosenhagen, the Norwegian. He's going to take him on the bend. They're within sight of the line, and he's going to clinch it. Oh, so close. Bosenhagen takes. Ameti second and Ameti must be absolutely destroyed. He thought he got that, but he had to give best to the flying Norwegian in the closing stages. I cannot believe it. What a finish.